G'day, Gary here from Platform One MRC. Early today, I was asked by Paul Brooks, one of our members, how I go about creating the mortar effect in my buildings. Now, this technique you can use on HO, double O, as you can see, O gauge buildings, and it comes up as a quite a nice effect. Um, it is a rather simple technique where I use chalk dust to actually fill all your mortar gaps. Now, I have a piece of uh, L-cut that I prepared earlier, just threw a bit of paint on or what have you. And what we're gonna do is actually fill all this, this in. Uh, best way to go about it is knife, chalk, and basically scrape yourself off some dust. Simple as that. Take your pre-painted uh, wall or retaining wall, whichever, pick up the dust in your finger as such, and just rub it on. Basically what you're doing is rubbing the, the chalk into all the mortar lines. Doesn't matter how thick it goes on, doesn't matter if it discolors the, uh, the brickwork there, you can actually see it going a little bit white, but that'll all fade as soon as I apply the clear coat. Now just out of a matter of interest, the colors I've used on this brick here, or I should say on, on the station building which I showed earlier, was a base coat of Deathclaw Brown by Citadel. After that, I use five or six different individual colors to pick out, which include uh, Mournfang Brown from Citadel, Skag Brown, Rat Skin Flesh, and Tamiya Flat Earth and NATO Brown. Now, each individual brick on the building here is all picked out in individual colors. I've also done that this, the same technique on other little buildings from Elcut, like the uh, coal merchant office here as well. Okay, back, back to the dusting. Um, once you've actually completed a fair amount of dusting, I recommend just getting a clear coat, whether it be Dole Coat or one of the proprietary products out there. I actually use this one. Um, Gorma actually mentions it also on one of his, his videos he does. Um, what I'm going to do is just give it, give it a quick shake. And we're just going to lightly spray that over. I'm not going to jet it in but we're just gonna lightly spray it. And what that'll do, that'll dry, clear, flat. Well, it may have a little bit of a sheen to it, but don't worry about that. But it'll also bind all the powder into the uh, mortar. Now, if I give that, you know, say a good 10, 15 minutes of drying, if I'm not happy with the, with the finish, I can just go over it again. What I have found on some of the models, L-cut, being more or less cardboard, you know, it still works, but it probably doesn't work as well as compared to say the uh, laser cut wood kits. So we'll let that go. I'll grab a photo and post this up when we finish doing this exercise. Now here's just another little piece, just done in the uh, in the death cow brown or death claw brown, I should say. Rub it in, same effect again. Rub it over. Don't worry about the, uh, the weathering on top. And we'll give that a light spray again. Now, if you're working around windows, probably always best not to glue your windows in straight away, your glass in. But if you're going to do that, uh, I, I just use little cutouts of paper as such. And I just place it over the top. of the windows, wedge it in there, and then I can spray the whole model. Um, just make sure they don't they don't blow out when you do that. Now going back to that other piece, the first piece we're done, it's basically, it's, it's almost touch dry, I can still see a bit of a sheen to it, but you can actually see the mortar building up within there. Um, I can still feel that it's a little tacky. What I can do, we can go over that again, just check this other piece, because it had a lighter coat. Still a little bit tacky, but you know, you get the idea how we do this. Um, in some instances, the mortar tends to be shown up a little bit more like on here compared to other areas. Well, that happens in natural brickwork anyway. So um, if you do want to dull it down after you finish, you can give this a light spray, you know, with a light wash of white or anything, and that'll just uh, take, take the sheen off or just dull the brickwork down. So that's how I do it. That's how I get the effect. I'll just rub a little bit more on here. We'll see how it goes. 
Now, if you're unhappy with it, just give it a brush with a br paintbrush. Just knock it back a little bit. Run down here a bit further. And it does give a fairly weathered look. You can just run that in. And we'll give that another light spray. And there we have it. Okay. Well, that's pretty it, pretty much it. A um, couple of applications. You may find it's necessary to get the depth of the mortar in your brickwork, but I think the results speak for themselves. Anyway, speak to you soon. Cheers, Gary.